little did I know that my country would soon lose the war. In those days, I was living in a remote place, picking polonia flowers. 1945, Michiko Shoda is 11 years old. Japan, as she knows it, is about to collapse. The trauma of war will inspire an unwavering determination. Her generation must build a new Japan, a peaceful Japan. She will accomplish much more. Despite the defeat and the U.S. occupation, Emperor Hirohito remains on the throne, but loses his divine status and all his powers. Never had the future of the country been so uncertain. Crown Prince Akihito then makes a radical choice, challenging the codes of the Imperial House and Japanese society. He marries Michiko Shoda, a young woman cultured and determined, but above all, the first commoner in the world to marry a future sovereign. This marriage with the people will radically change the face of Japan. To leave behind the image of a warlike country, Michiko quickly becomes a decisive asset and embodies a modern and democratic Japan. For 60 years, she will accompany the transformation of society and establish herself as a true partner of her husband. <laughs> With the support of Michiko, Emperor Akihito dares to express remorse for the offenses inflicted by Japan during the war facing a past that the country is still struggling to cope with. In this country where the economic boom did not benefit the weakest, Michiko tried to unite the people by embracing the marginalized. She spread a message of tolerance and acceptance. Michiko causes a stir, but despite the attacks of conservatives and nationalists, despite the shackles of a very rigid system, she bends but doesn't break. From a defeated post-war Japan to a frantic race for modernity, Michiko opened an unexpected breach. The introspection of a people that would build a unified, peaceful, and enlightened Japan. Did Michiko help to reinvent, and thus to save, one of the oldest hereditary monarchies in the world?